Um, and Bill, I think we can get started and I'll just let people in as we um, proceed. So I can hand it over to you. <laughs> Okay, well, welcome everybody. It looks like we only have um, two people here, but let me give you a little bit of information about the conference itself, uh, which I just got a minute ago. There are in fact 110 people registered, so this is not a huge conference uh, normally. Um, I don't think I've been to it for a few years. I think the last time I went to it, it was the one in Venice, actually, which must be not that many years ago now. But um, so um, my name is Bill Cope. I think. We might know each other already. I've been involved with Common Ground since it began. And um, I work at the University of Illinois, but and I'm based in Champaign, Illinois, although I'm an Australian, so hence the funny accent. Um, so, um, but there are 100 gender people registered. There are 20 people at the conference in person, which is nice. We decided we were gonna really bite the bullet and try to get back to having in-person numbers, even though they're small. Um, and there are 144 pieces of digital media. So um, there's a lot, of, a lot of activity there. And one of the things we do ask people to do is uh, please you know, make the most of all that digital media, go to as many sessions as you can, but always leave a comment. <laughs> you know, it's the interaction is important and that the comment triggers um, an email to the presenter. So they've got a you know, a reminder that there's someone there to come back and talk to or, or to at least look at what they've said as well. So, um, but, um, uh, oh, there's another person coming in now, Brian. So, hey there, Brian, how are you? Looks like you've been doing good things on your whiteboard there. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so look, let's, um, just go around and get I don't want, um, people to introduce each other to introduce yourself to the others here. So as I say, I'm Bill Cope. I work at the University of Illinois. Um, the, I work in education, but I'm really interested in the question of what's called multimodality, which is how do um, images interface with other forms of uh, representation? So that's, that's the work that I do, and I do it in, in education. So that, that, that's what I do. So, and look, I want to welcome uh, Elizabeth Costa, who's got Philip's name there, um, but, but she, and also Kinsey Duncan, they've done an amazing job in getting the conference together. And I just see somebody else is coming in as well, which is nice. Um, so I'd like us to just go around the, the room, otherwise known as the Zoom tiles, <laughs> and get people to introduce yourselves and what you might do as well is if you're presenting, um, uh, Elizabeth will go and find your session and, and put the link into the chat while you're speaking. So I'm going to just um, call on people, if you don't mind that, um, uh, to introduce yourselves um, and to um, really say what brings you to the conference. So Kevin, you're my first time. Yeah, so hello, everybody, and uh, it's nice to... Nice to meet you virtually, at least. Um, my name's Kevin Maloney. I'm a, currently an assistant professor at Ball State University in Indiana, where I mostly teach transmedia storytelling, which is, uh, you know, as you probably all know, is a fusion of a lot of communication techniques into really complex networks of communication. But I am a longtime photojournalist. I was a New York Times photographer for 21 years and taught photojournalism at the University of Colorado during that same stretch. And so my first love is still with me. Uh, in terms of image creation and image analysis, the things that interest me the most are, um, are, are how dogmas affect the way we work as photographers or as journalists. And how those evolve into new mediascapes. So my presentation is pretty much about that this, uh, this round where uh, it's, a, it's a, a, a living example of how karma ran over my own dogma during the uh, pandemic. And I satisfied my need to do world travel by traveling to all the places in Indiana named for foreign places just to get a vicarious little, little you know, itch scratched. <laughs> I love that idea. Actually, I must admit, I mean, I'm in the I'm in the Midwest now. I'm in Illinois, and um, and um, I love the fact there's a Paris, Illinois, and there's a 
uh, uh, Lebanon, Illinois, and you go through them all. And you know the the um, who were those German pair that did the the water tanks? Um, uh, the photographers. I can't remember their names off the top of my head. I, I keep on. One fun project would be to do a foreign country's version of that uh, of water tanks. <laughs> you know, uh, the Paris Illinois water tank and the yeah yeah yeah. Ah, what a lovely thing. So yeah, well, great to 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 see that and um um oh yeah that's right that's right it's the best you're absolutely right yeah 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 david you're a familiar person great to see you again yeah no i i love i've a bit of a regular at the image conference i think i've missed uh, i miss venice <laughs> oh, and uh yeah. you know uh, maybe one or two others but you know I've, I've done quite a few of the image conference I, uh, I'm on the advisory panel and I did a little um, video for the uh, advisory panel the last or, or the last session, the session in Manchester, I think, um, as a member of the advisory panel. And I said that um, I said that I really uh, the image conference interested me because it seemed uh, I, I've worked in art uh, design. Uh, since I was a kid, you know, I was I went to art school in when I was 17, started then. And um, uh, so I uh, thought it, it's such, it seems such a good neutral space outside of, um, you know, the kind of um, art space, you know, which I think is a bit ramshackle now. I, I don't, you know, I think um, so. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, retired a uh, uh, couple of years, two or three years ago from teaching at Western Sydney University. Um, I taught for uh, most of the um, universities up and down the um, east coast of Australia and, um, uh, you know, taught, uh, lived in China for a while. Um, setting up a photography area at a huge technical uh, college in uh, Shenzhen uh, in China. And, um, uh, you know, I've, um, yeah, so I've worked with photography for years. I write about photography uh, now and um, yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. And um, uh, the image conference is such a great space. You know, I've been going through some of the, um, some of the talks and there are people there speaking my language. I, it's just fascinating, you know, I just can't want to get on to some of these uh, areas, you know, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. and actually, you know, one of the sort of ironical advantages for an image conference is the fact that we have these um, moving images and you can sort of go at them, get, get to them at will and there's not, Conflicts about session times and all that kind of nice stuff. So, um, yes, that's that's great. Yes, that's that, that, that's right. Yeah. So, so I'm not the brightest spark at the moment. It's one o'clock in the morning here. I feel two o'clock now, isn't it? In the morning. Yeah. Amazing. In Australia. Yeah. I'm I'm impressed. So um, <laughs> wonderful that you're here. Um, so yeah. Where's all yeah. these others? You know, from all over the place. Where <laughs> where are they? <laughs> Yeah, we get what we get. We usually get a handful to these informal sessions. Uh, we get a lot more to the formal sessions, obviously. And and by the time you know people have gone around and you know, we've got this little engagement meter, which is the people who've been to each page. Um, and um, you know, please, you know, go to as many sessions you can and leave comments. That's what I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. like a broken record. I keep saying, "Hey, Brian, how are you?" Yeah, I'm doing well. Sorry, I, I was uh, a little mixed up there at the beginning. I'm uh, a little under duress this morning. I just ran from teaching my class, and then, uh, and then, I, and then I'm here now. But it's great to be here. Um, what can I say? I think I, I echo a lot of uh, what Kevin and David just uh, said about yeah, having a very interesting space here. And this is my first time, uh, but I've just started looking through the papers and everything. It looks great. My own work. Um, so I'm a sociologist by training at the University of Illinois. Uh, I think as, as, as Bill, you, you know, we met uh, over the summer, but, um, you know, so as a sociologist, I'm sort of 
interested in, I guess I, I, we could call it multimodality, but you know how images get used in sociology, um, its relationship to photojournalism as well. And so my paper um, is about uh, a specific early, uh, you know, who I would consider to be kind of a canonical figure within visual anthropology and visual sociology, Frank Kansian, who unfortunately just passed away. And in my uh, presentation and in, in the accompanying paper that I have written, um, which was actually just accepted at, at, a, at a different journal uh, called Visual Studies. So if anybody's interested in it, I'd be happy to, to share it with you. Um, I unpack kind of his legacy, the, the photo books that he published and how he sort of separated his scientific, uh, if we can call it that identity with his more photographic uh, identity, his interest in documentary photography. Um, and, you know, I think it's an interesting thing for, for someone such as myself or someone in the social sciences and humanities who is interested in making images engaging in the world in that way, confronting the world uh, through making imagery. Um, but uh, also has, you know, sort of a, a cleft or, or dual identity with more uh, also scientific aspirations as well. So that's kind of the, the broad strokes. Thanks. Fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like lots of crossovers between these presentations, so obviously, too, which is very, very nice. The next person I have as I go across my tiles is uh, Ayanna. Have I got that right? Yes, it's correct. So let's hear a little bit about yourself and what brings you here to the conference. Yes. Oh. Ah, we've just lost your sound, I think. Uh, you, you had a, a second channel open for the sound. We just lost you. No, we've lost it's you again. Awful. Oh, there we go. Oh, hear me? Yes. Oh, great. Well, I'm currently graduating in social communication at the University of Brazil in Brazil. Um, my presentation here in the conference is about Japanese aesthetics inside of the context of the Amazon rainforest. Um, inside of the university, I've been currently studying mostly visual language. Well, I currently work as a designer and illustrator, especially developing art. in progress. Oops. Especially oh. developing art for children. And I also study the development of books for children. It's very nice to be here. Okay, great, great to have you. I was lucky enough to um, visit the University of Brasilia um, in okay. year, year before last, and I'm a bit of a fan of um, modernist architecture, so I had a great time there. <laughs> I took lots of photographs oh, okay. of the, not only the university, but obviously all the the the, the uh, Nehemiah stuff in town as well. So yes, it was it's a lovely campus. Yes. Oh, thank um, you very much. Yeah. So, folks, um, tell me, um, you know, just a, a quick comment here. Um, um, you know, just you know, I, I think what you're all touching on in one way or another is this fact that our worlds have been turned upside down the last year or two. Um, so I go to just one kind of future oriented question. Well, what's the future of the image? What's what's happening in the image? What's the future? Anyone want to throw in a, a, a comment? Oh, I'll throw in a quick comment. Uh, I mean, what what um, uh, I mean, the what's happened with this uh, pandemic is um, is uh, uh, a huge amount of population <laughs> have had their their image of what the world was about, what the world was like, torn in heart, just ripped apart. Uh, you know, that's what uh, uh, a similar kind of um, uh, uh, that befell me uh, originating from the UK when the last, when the vote came through for Brexit, and I said, then, right then, when that vote came through, all that I know is gone. I was, you know, 
furious about it because um, it had, uh, you know, I was happy, more than happy, uh, being uh, a European, being a global citizen, which is what I naturally am. And I think probably most of the people listening now would feel that uh, uh, a sense of themselves more as a, a global citizen than, uh, you know, this... Um, these kind of nation states, you know, that we've come to, but it, it's when you get, uh, so it's, it's when, it, it's when people's reality are really torn to shred. And that's that image that we see, right? This is what the world is. That's our reality. That image is our reality. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. And so, you know, in, a way, in the last, since this pandemic, we've become, more reliant on images um, than ever before. And uh, I think, Kevin, Kevin, that's exactly the point. That, uh, in, in, in an obtuse sort of way, that's the point you're making, yes? Yeah, I think it's going to be really challenging to see how images evolve in a post-fact circumstance around the world and you know how we understand factuality and images and our situatedness in them when we make them so it's a uh, it's going to be a really revolutionary time to, to watch and study and participate in and somewhere between photoshop and deep fakes there's, there's <laughs> you know the images are participants in this very strange world and complicit actually aren't they <laughs> It is. And I think one thing that's fascinating about my current sort of field of study of transmedia storytelling is that, you know, a, a one possible mitigation in there in that, you know, everything can be and should be double, triple and quadruple sourced for verification, whether it's an image or it's text or it's video um, that, uh, that, you know, everything be, you know, honestly networked rather than uh, than accidentally networked. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other thoughts, folks? Um, well, I was just going to chime in. I think uh, probably what David and Kevin are both mentioning, maybe implicitly, is that you know the images are, are maybe political in a way that they were never before, which I think is pretty important to to consider, just in yeah. general. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's interesting. I think they've they've always been political. They've always been situated. They've always been loaded. And you know, if anything, the you know the nature of the internet and the current circumstances just made that rise up to be more obvious to everyone, which is you know a net good, um, even though it's uh it's it's got some distinct bad sides to it. <laughs> so, um, Ayana, what any thoughts? From, from from you about that. I noticed the news item today, which um, <laughs> without wanting to be political particularly, that your fearless president Bolsonaro is is banning media outlets that that will um that will block his things that he says, truth or not truth. I noticed that was a news a news item today. I don't know whether you've noticed that as well, but how from a point of view from your universe in the, the capital of Brazil where Bolsonaro has his um, his incredibly beautiful Nehemiah Palace. Actually, um, how how are you? Um, how how do you see the, the the future of images? Well, talking about a political sense of image, we're very worried um, about especially what our president has been doing with it. Um, we've seen a lot of fake news, and suddenly. One image can be very powerful to change a whole country's opinion. And mostly people are not spending much time reading about these images and also, and also getting information deeper, or deeper information about these images. So we are very scared. I, I am completely against the President Bolsonaro. <laughs> I don't know your opinion, but most of my colleagues and professors also share my opinion. And we may be facing, well, at least a threat of a, a, a dictatorship. Yes. So. Uh, not yeah. good times, not good times. Yeah, 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 in so many ways. Challenging, and again, as several of the point, 
the points several that you made, which is images are part of this whole process as well. So yes, absolutely. Well, look, um, um, you know, what can I say other than look, thank you all for being here. Are there any questions about the conference and processes and, and anything that I need to, to ask? I mean, we've got several kind of parallel things going on. One is the conference itself, at least digital media, where you please put comments. Um, and the people, there are 20 people in Lisbon. Um, so we wanted to be really determined to, to go ahead. And we don't mean Lisbon, Indiana, Kevin, <laughs> or Lisbon, Illinois, or Lisbon, Texas. It's Lisbon, Portugal. Um, so um, we wanted to go ahead with the in-person thing just to show our determination to do that. But we've also um, asked all those people to please, um, um, you know, contribute their digital media as well. So going forward, this will be a blended conference. You know, that's one of the legacies of COVID for us, which we think will give other people, give new, new people access who couldn't, for one reason or another, travel before as well. So um, also I've been asked to mention uh, the pop-up exhibition, which we'll be holding again next year. And in the, the um, it will be both a, um, a, 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 a of an exhibition at the physical conference for, for objects, uh, images that are taken there physically, but also um, it will be um, a virtual pop-up exhibition as well. Um, uh, Tamsin tells me today when I was just um, talking to her. Um, and also, um, yes, uh, and next year the conference is at the University of Texas, Austin. So, um, so that's where we're going. We, you know, sort of we move around the world with this conference, and that's where it's going to be next year. So either we will either come virtually again, or um, we'll see you there. Also, one of the things I do, a couple of things I want to mention. One is the publication process in the journal. So some of you know about that already. For us, that's a very important process of building a formal body of peer-reviewed knowledge, all with digital object identifiers in Crossref, so they become registered in the great official. <laughs> list of things which is knowledge um so yes please um that that please put in papers and brian if you've already given your paper to somebody else do a similar paper and put it into ours don't it's not you you know you obviously you can't republish but you know one of the great tricks of academe um is to uh use ideas <laughs> over and over again so to speak so you might do something which is a variation on the theme which sticks to the theme but has different evidence or reframes it or paraphrases it or something or other. So anyhow, the image journal is there, but also look, one little plea about the image journal um, is, I'm just pulling over now to that link. Thanks for putting that link in, uh, Elizabeth. Um, I am trying to get over to the, the uh, browse articles now. That's why I've just taken the browse articles link. That everyone by virtue of being a member of this has access to the backlog of articles that have been produced over the years. And in fact, I've just looked it up as of today, it's 386 um, digital objects, 374 articles, and there are 12 books that we've produced actually. Um, so um, please, that's all available digitally. It's all yours as part of this membership idea. And um, one little plea is also to cite it, you know, which is, you know, in the world of academe, citing each other's work is a way of acknowledging their um, value to you. So it's a nice thing to be doing. So please use that resource and please, as much as possible, cite uh, the um, 386 works that are in there, 374 articles, and that must be, uh, yeah, a dozen books. So yeah, that's, that's a great resource. And of course, you can download those um, and you know, keep, you know, you've got access to it all as well. Oh yeah, there's the articles. Thank you for that, Elizabeth. Um, anything else that I need to say, Elizabeth and Kinsey, that I haven't said? No. Um, any other questions from folks or thoughts? Yeah, look, the only thing is, look, enjoy the conference and I'm going to be a broken record, which is please leave comments, <laughs> you know, which is um, one of the great advantages is, you know, look, you don't know what people are thinking when they leave the room in an in-person conference. Well, don't leave the room without saying what you think. <laughs> and and, and um, um, that, that's a, a little kind of the new uh, virtual etiquette thing. So 
And look, I'm, I'm just amazed also, what a transformation, the fact that people are so uh, able to produce these digital objects in various degrees of, you know, um, I won't say professional or amateur, that's a really ridiculous distinction now, isn't it? Um, you know, various degrees of technical expertise. So even the people who've just done something which is um, relatively simple, it's a great thing that they've done it as well. So, and we'll leave those up for, they're accessible forever, um, but also um, we'll leave the comments running, but not too long, just for a couple of weeks, the comments will be running. So. Okay, any other comments, questions, suggestions, thoughts? Okay, well, look, if not, we'll do our traditional Zoom wave. This is this new tradition of waving to people. Did you ever do that in a lecture theatre? No, but here we are on Zoom. We, we wave to each other again. <laughs> Strange world, isn't it? And um, have a great conference. Uh, and we will. there'll be another one of these. Uh, I think there's a talking circle at the end, so I may see some of you at the end as well. So anyhow... Great to see you all, folks, and have a great time. Thanks so much, William. Yeah. That's Enjoy nice to meet you all. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet everybody. Yeah, it's good. Lovely. Thanks. Bye, then. Bye. Bye. Bye.